So someone sees you for the first time after a very long while and the person is like, girl, you've added so much weight, like what happened? Or they're like, girl, you're adding weight. Or like, see how big your thighs are, or see how flabby your arms are, or see how big your tummy is. Your tummy is out, like, or they'll probably be like, just see how big you are very soon now, you'll be like a boy. Oh, oh, I think the worst comment I heard was, ah, if you keep on adding with very soon now, you look like a chimpanzee. Like, God, like, who does that? Who compares a human being to an animal? Like, publicly, not like in a private place. Like, why does that happen a lot? Hi, darling. Welcome back to my channel. So, in this, to, <laughs> in this video today, I'm going to be talking about a very serious issue. A very serious matter which happens a whole lot in society and it's fat shaming. So, I was actually born quite heavy, like compared to all of my siblings, I actually weighed the most, like at birth. And even while growing up, I was always like bigger than my classmates, bigger than my age mates, and even bigger than people I was older than. And um, somehow, somehow, most a lot of people cannot use that as a reason to, you know, tease me. They would tell me stuff like, oh, you're fat, you're too fat, they'll call you a ball. Even while I even got up to like my secondary school, they would even compare me to, you know, like a man and they would even be like, oh girl, you're muscular. They would tell you all sorts of nasty things and I really don't know if they derive joy from doing that. And then the worst part was that these things that they always told me or kind of like made me, you know, it kind of made me shielded and it made me not to, you know, not want to, you know, open up so much to someone. I was kind of like um, more to myself. I like to, you know, just keep to myself, do my own thing, and um, just mind my business basically. Because at the end of the day, I mean, really care about you. Just very actually do. So what I feel about the whole fat shaming thing is that you can only tell somebody that the person has added weight if and only if you are close to the person. If you are not close to the person, if you are not somebody that the person like. Um, find as a friend or a sister or you know if you're not close to the person if you don't have the person's goodwill at heart you have no right to tell the person and then you what and then if you have to tell the person even if you're not close to the person you have to do it in the most respectful manner possible you don't just see the person and then you tell the person girl you you girl, you're, you're not very fat you don't just you don't just embarrass the person publicly if you're the one that you're being told him would you like it then another thing is there are various factors which actually come together in making a person either lose weight or gain weight and one of them the number one factor is actually stress like for me like when i'm very stressed i find out that i tend to you know stress eat i tend to overeat when i'm stressed and i kind of like just cope with the whole stress with food i kind of like use food to like kind of like make myself happy get myself more energized and you know just keep on going and doing the work which i ought to be doing and then for, for some other people, it might be depression, like they might be going through like sad time, disappointment, heartbreaks, all sorts of, all sorts of negativity, and then they start to put on weight. And then the next thing you see them and they're all like, oh, you're not fat, or you're adding weight. Like, what makes you feel the person is not trying to like, you know, control it? What, what makes you feel the person is not like, as in struggling personality, you know, just kind of like put things in order. But then you see the person and you keep on spitting these negative words to the person's face. Like, please you need to stop doing that you really need to stop doing that then some other factors that can that can actually make a woman put on weight is let's say she's trying to get pregnant or she's already even pregnant or let's say she's been taking too much of contraceptives those factors could actually um, come in hand to actually make a woman put on weight or even when she's in a monthly period yes yeah, so women put on weight when they're in their monthly period or probably just within water weight and then another thing is maintaining a healthy lifestyle requires one to have like at least sufficient funds or let me just let me just be comfortable like because eating healthy is not cheap of course eating healthy is not cheap exercising requires time and let's say you're already stressed and you're trying to you know trying to fit out time to like you know prepare your meals or buy your healthy meals or even to exercise like it's really not easy so i see no reason why someone will see another person adding weight and instead of them trying to you know um you know try to help the person with whatever thing the person needs or you know try to you know advise the person you know just be helpful in any way possible they just you know just spit the dirty words out and then they move on with their life and they're thinking oh they've done one good like please that needs to stop stop 
like you can't just see somebody and you're just um, comparing the person's body and expecting the person to be a particular shape or size forgetting that all fingers are not equal we're all born differently our destinies are different you can't expect me to look like to look like cassandra or sandra or, or linda or inkiru or something you don't expect me to look like somebody else like i'm me i'm my own person the other person you're fat shaming or skinny shaming is the person's own person so why should you expect the person to look like you like why and then the person probably rubbed your own struggles too on your own face and it probably is like spitted it out in public like would you like it would you be comfortable like how would you feel about that so i have certain questions like is there a right to actually tell someone that the person is adding weight and then you've never been told that you are fat or you are too thin or you are, your body is flabby or your tummy is too big or just something just something and then is there a right way to actually say it and um, what do you do when you are being fat shamed? And then why can't they mind their business? Do you always have to just try to you know make somebody feel bad or probably you know make the person feel sad or probably make the person feel less than the person actually actually is? Even some cases, some people will even be like, ah, why do you have lots of stretch marks? Like they would shade you for anything reason that like, you probably don't even have much control over. As in, why can't they mind their business and realize that you probably already know that oh you're adding with or something so guys thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one and i really hope you enjoyed it and please i hope you learned something from this video please you can answer any of the questions which i asked by going to the comment section to answer any of the questions and um i'll see you in my next video thanks so much for watching and take note you are beautiful you are very beautiful you have to believe in yourself do what you want to do do what makes you happy and live the best life that you can live. Thanks so much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.